Hey everybody, another workout provided by BU Fitness. So today what we're working on is an EMOM. So an EMOM, what that means, the acronym is every minute on the minute. So you would, so the first minute we have plie squats with ball squeeze. So I have it to where you do max reps each minute. So it's your choice. Uh, the second minute we're doing grapevines with overhead ball hold. The third minute we are doing Swiss ball wall toss but we're doing that one as a group of 10, but you're trying to get that group as many rounds as you can within that minute. So you're doing 10 left, 10 forward, and 10 right. The number four is Swiss ball wall squats. And number five is Swiss ball scissor leg twists. So let's go ahead and get right into it and I'll explain everything. All right guys, so the first movement that we're doing today is the play with ball squeeze. So I have my Swiss ball right here. Got it already. I'm going to place it in between my legs, like so. Kind of bring my legs about wider than shoulder width apart. And I'm going to have my feet about 30 to 45 angles. And I'm going to make sure my knees are pointing towards the angle of my feet because I want them to make sure they line up. And I want to make sure they're tracking properly. So we're getting here, staying nice and tall. Quick breath out to brace, keeping my core nice and tight, bring everything up and in. Just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and squat down a little bit and make sure that my, uh, my adductors are sitting onto the ball and kind of squatting down into this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm squatting down, I'm gonna take my hands, place them on my hips, and the key points to really focus on is stay, stay tall, make sure your knees are tracking properly over your feet, and keeping that core nice and tight. So we're gonna hold this position, then we're just gonna squeeze. So three seconds, one, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. You can sit a little bit deeper if you'd like, but we're not sitting on the ball. So you're hovering and squeezing. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. Good, one, two, three, and release. And I'm thinking about bringing my knees together, but also bringing in, keeping that core nice and tight. And don't ever hold your breath. We're breathing normally. If you want, you can go one, two, three, deep breath in for three. Deep breath out, release for three. In for three, out for three. So that is our play ball squeeze. So for the first minute, you would do as many as you can. If you feel like you need a bit, bit of rest, I would start off doing 30 to 30, or do, uh, if you feel like you can go a little bit longer, do 40 seconds and then 20 seconds rest. And then you would get into your next minute of uh, your next movement. So the next movement is called grapevine with overhead reach. So the grapevine can be kind of tricky. And if you don't have a lot of room in your, in your house, that's okay too, where you can stay in a small uh, space. So I'm gonna do it side to side so you can kind of see what I'm doing and then forward and back. So let me adjust this, I don't have my uh, cameraman here today. So this is gonna be me. <laughs> so from side to side, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Swiss ball over my head and I'm extending through. I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping my neck long and my shoulders down and neutral. I'm not having them near my ears. I'm gonna keep my belly button to spine. I'm gonna start by crisscrossing my legs over. So I'm sweeping and then I'm rotating through. So sweeping forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So here, I'm gonna go from side to side, forward and back. And you can pick it up a little bit. Again. And so forth. So this is what you would do for the minute. Let me just straight vines. Keep your core nice and tight. You want to make sure we're squeezing the glutes, really activating and pushing through the floor. And you kind of want to get that hip rotation in too, because it'll work your core while you're stabilizing overhead. And make sure, key points to remember, um, keep core engaged. And if you'd like, you can apply small circles with your arms as well. So a little bit more of a challenge, core nice and tight, and we can apply small circles. And the other way. So then you're working your shoulders, your posterior chain, your hips, your core, a little bit of everything. So it's a full body movement. So our next movement that we're doing is med ball wall tosses. So I have a wall right here to show you what we're doing next. So there's my wall. So whenever I start off with this movement, I always have about an arm width apart away from my body. There we go. Oops, sorry guys. There we go. So judging from the wall, I get my feet, I have my feet about Shoulder width apart, I put, take my hand, place my hand on the wall, fingertips, that's about the distance. If you want to be a little bit farther away, that's fine too. 
So I'm gonna start off on the left. So this is my left. So also, I'm gonna kind of stagger my feet. So let's see if you can see my full body here with this guy. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna stagger my feet, one in front of the other, and I'm gonna kind of leave that open. See how I'm in a kind of a lunging, a lunge position. I'm keeping my hips nice and centered here, lunging, sitting down into it, keeping my core nice and tight. And I'm gonna do a scooping motion. So this is my left. So I'm gonna scoop and throw it at the wall. One, two, and I'm really thinking about this my core. I'm just releasing and catching. Release and catch. Release and catch. So let's say I did 10. So then I would come forward, feet nice and even. I slowly sit down into it. Make sure I have my core engaged. My shoulders are down and away from the ears. And then I'm just pushing. One, two, three, two. make sure you don't hit yourself in the face. Keep it about chest level. scissor kicks with the ball or uh, leg scissor leg twist apologies so we're coming down over here our last minute coming down getting set so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm lying my back flat on the ground I'm gonna compress my lower my lower lumbar spine to make sure everything's nice and flat I'm gonna go ahead and get my Swiss ball set it up in between my legs I always do it kind of like halfway Halfway uh, down my shin, so my feet, I can point my feet and control it a little bit so I can squeeze and grip because we're going to squeeze and grip at the same time. So I'm going to get my feet set. My hands are just down at the sides. I'm going to keep a nice long neck. I'm going to make sure my hips are at 90 degrees and I'm pointing my toes here. So I'm already actively getting my core set. 
making sure my lumbar uh, spine is compressed to the ground, shoulders and neck is nice and long. I'm not tucking my chin in. I'm also not overextending my neck. I'm keeping it about a neutral position. If you have a hard time gauging where your head should be at, I take my fist and put it right in between my neck. And you can, a good way to also fix your posture when you're doing the floor exercise is kind of tuck the chin in so you can have it in that neutral spine position. And it'll help strengthen your neck and your back as well for better posture. So I'll uh, take a deep breath in, quick breath out, through that diaphragm. Now I'm bracing the core. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna also twist. So I'm gonna twist. Just like so. So I kind of push my heels in, push my legs and I'm twisting. Just like so. And if you feel like it starts kind of rolling off, you can go a little bit slower. Just like so. So we're twisting if you would like. You can also lower it down while you twist. So we do a leg lower, your hands are still helping. But we're not actually pushing our hands and they're just resting because we want our core to work. Just like so, we lower. Keeping our legs nice and long, and then we lift back up. Just like so. If you need to, reset the ball. You don't have to go super fast on these. A little goes a long way. Rotate up. If you want to lower your legs a little bit more, you can as well. If those ones seem kind of hard to you, we can also just do a leg lift. So another um, uh, regression you can do, you can do leg lifts. So we toss, grab, Ball tap, leg lift. Ball tap, leg lift. Quick breath out. Brace. Just like so. So you can do that as an alternative. If those uh, those scissor twists get kind of challenging at the end, and then if it keeps, if your legs getting fatigued and your legs uh, keep dropping the ball, just uh, go to those because it'll it'll work your core just as good, and it'll be just as fun. So. The how the rest of the imam works on this one. So since you have five movements, you go through that five. So that would be your first five minutes. And then you would just repeat the round. So then you'd have another five minutes and then another five minutes. So then it would equal out to 15 minutes. You want to keep moving. But if you need to rest, definitely take a rest, especially if you haven't done like heavy ball, Swiss ball work before or a lot of movements with it at all. I would just gauge kind of where you're at and then go from there. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on any, anything. Please feel free to type down in the comments below um, if you want any alternative or regressions on these movements as well. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out and I'll be more than happy to put videos out. Please, 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 if you have any requests that you uh, want me to do, any movements, any areas that you want to work out, I can definitely do a video for you. Feel free to definitely message me because I really, really don't mind. All right, guys. Well, I hope this workout goes really well for you. Uh, just have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. All right, guys, have a wonderful day.